Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the Samsung washer vibration sensor. It's going to be a very easy repair and it should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new vibration sensor. The vibration sensor tells the washer when it's out of balance. The main reason you be changing it out is if the washer keeps stopping and you're getting an error code, but the washer's not out of balance. In order to change the vibration sensor, we have to tilt the washer back. We're just going to carefully tilt it back. And you can put a towel here to lean it against the wall, or you can just support it. Now that we have the washer tilted back, we have access to the vibration sensor. It's mounted right here on the bottom of the tub. We just have to release the little twist tie that holds the wire harness on. So just twist it to unlock it, and then pull the harness out. We can reach in and press the locking tab to separate the two ends. Once you have it released, we can reach in with the Phillips screwdriver and take out the two screws that hold it to the tub. Once you have the screws out, we can reach in and pull the vibration sensor off. Once you have it free, you can pull it out of the washer. Here's the old vibration sensor next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. To put the new vibration sensor on, you just want to push these little indents onto the legs on the tub. So just turn around and push it on. It'll kind of help hold it in place. While well, you grab the Phillips screwdriver and put the screws in. Once you have it mounted, we can connect the wiring harness. All you have to do is grab the two ends and push them together so they lock in place. We can put it in the holder and lock it down. Once you have it locked in place, we can put the washer back up on its feet. All you have to do is carefully lift the washer up and set it on its feet. Once you have it set on its feet, you can plug it back in and take it for a spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.